Why'd you make me do this? Make do, do, what? Why'd you, why'd you make me do this? I wasn't going to do. I wasn't even gonna do shit about this shit. <sighs> I wasn't gonna do anything about this show. And then you hit me up with the most excited message, saying, "Trey, we have to watch Neo Yo Gio. We have to watch." Why do you hate me? Yo. Okay. So so it's so it's begun then. So this is this is how we're gonna do this. I just want to know, Chris. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Here we I thought so we were when, practically family. When I sent the message, because uh -huh. I I fully admit to that, I sent okay. the message. You weren't you weren't even looking. This wasn't on your radar, and I was like, look, we gotta watch this show. We gotta see it. And here's why: Netflix, killing the game right now with mm -hmm. shows. Mm -hmm. Anime, fits right into our repertoire. Yes, it does. Jaden Smith. It was gonna be too much not to watch. Like we had to do this, man. <laughs> We had to watch <laughs> Neo Yokio. We had to. Hey everybody, it's Trady Price and this is King Price for And that's Chris. <laughs> Mr. Champagne. This man can't he can't even drunk. do the He can't even do the intro. Um, <laughs> I hate this show. I hate this show. <laughs> Full disclosure, I have watched three episodes. Full disclosure, that is all I will watch. It's a damn shame that I watch that many, cause this show is awful. Let's no, then let's let's for for journalistic integrity's sake, I did watch all of it. Mm -hmm. I do not share his views. Cause you hate yourself. <laughs> cause I oh, cause I hate myself. You're then a no, I I wanted to no, and I figured that you were gonna go in. So this is I I prepared some statements mm -hmm. for what I liked about this anime because I'm not against you, and I said it. I don't know if you heard it. I said it when I was frozen. Mm -hmm. So you say. Uh, I understand that this is a terrible anime. I enjoyed this terrible anime. I enjoyed it. It's one of those things. It's like watching, it's, it's, what is it? Uh, trash, trash film. It's like, there's like a subgenre of film where films are so bad, but you enjoy them because it's like, they're, so like you can see the why they're room or man like watching the, the room. Yeah. Yes. But this was kind of like that, except I did I think I genuinely enjoyed it. Like, it wasn't just that this is a weird, like, awful thing. I genuinely enjoyed it. So here's why. Here's why. One, the plot. It had a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Like, even once, so you only got to three episodes, I watched the whole thing. The whole thing, they only, every episode, they're adding more plot. I really don't understand. Like, only one plot line really got settled. Like, I can't even explain it, honestly. But... I really like the plot. I like the idea that Neo Yokio is basically like a futuristic occult, worship, like capitalistic society. It's like Japan meets New York. And I mean, literally, oh, I'm pretty sure that's where they got the name. No, Tokyo Yokio. Neo Yoki. Shut the fuck up, you Chris. You really did. I'm done with you. No, I did know. I, I did know. But so the fact much. that you say that like it was a clever idea, that's like Big Hero 6 and that San Fran Tokyo. It's not clever. And the thing is, I think, it, at least I know Big Hero 6 knows it's not clever. It's just for kids, and it's itchy, and DC did that back, or Marvel did that back in the day. Fine. But no. No! Sorry, Look, please continue. all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, I think it was well done. The setting itself. Neo Yokio looks like a place that if I had wealth and money, I would want to live. Now, if you don't have wealth and money, they actually show you, like, nah, this ain't for you, son. Don't come here. They they fucking hate all of y'all. If you if you live like even even top middle class and lower, mm -hmm. this ain't for you. Find somewhere else. It is not a good place. Well but I slave. like that they worship. Might as well be a slave. Honestly, they got slums and it was oh, the, just the episodes. I I I honestly liked it. But it's just like there's that. So there's the plot. I genuinely enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I genuinely enjoyed the fact that like the main character Kazcon, played by Jaden Smith, is a demon busting like socialite in in this upper class hierarchy uh -huh. and so he's trying to balance his social life because they creepily focus on social life they in that creepy. town oh my god creepily to the point where if for people that haven't seen it to the point where the eligible bachelors in neo yokio of the upper class there is a board in like times square a gigantic mm -hmm. sign led sign that lists out who the most eligible bachelors are. And he is second place underneath his arch rival, uh, Archangelo, whatever his last name is. 
Fuck Angelo, <laughs> bitch ass nigga. <laughs> bitch ass. That is his actual name. It's it's pronounced bichas, but he, it's like yes. <laughs> that, no, that's that's bichas not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, I I enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing him like try and balance his social life with his work duties because the way that his family makes money, it's actually really cool how they do it. His family, it's as if they're from a different country. They have immunity to like certain laws and things like that. But to make their living, they don't get subsidized by the state in any way, like a bunch of other of the rich people do with, with their businesses and this that, and the other. So they have to work by busting demons, doing exorcisms, stuff like that, to make money for the family. Mm-hmm. So he has a there's a character who's his on Agatha who doesn't give a shit about how like socially proper she wants that money so she keeps uh, sending him on these jobs. so that's who susan sarandon was playing she she did a great job honestly mm-hmm. as as on agatha no, she, she did was a great my job. favorite character in there because she I... said some of my favorite lines like shut the fuck up yeah. guys. <laughs> but that's but that's what i'm saying so that is the third reason why i really liked it they could have made this an anime just like a typical like hit stick to all tropes follow all the regular things it would have been like okay but they decided to like make an anime that like worked its way into like the boondocks and because of that i'm saying it i am absolutely saying it because the art style the art style fits and obviously all of the characters that show up fit so like his best friends i can't explain to you the first time that i heard (laughs) yeah basically yeah (laughs) <laughs> no, that's like that's literally who voices them. Des is a Mero, the Bodega Boy. No way! Yes, the Bodega Boy. Yes, voices. oh, Lexi that makes Kid it so Mero much better. And Go to Lieb is Desis. I did not know that, and that makes it so much better because the whole time I'm watching them, I was thinking like, "Yo, Desus and Mero love these dudes because yeah, they are." Because they are. Like, we need you to be the just, Capizzi they, Boy, like. Yeah, it's like. He's fucking going in on, oh, God. And they touched on a lot of, like, the show touches on a lot of social issues, like problems with capitalism, problems with gender identity, problems with this, that, and the other. Like, it goes into some cool stuff. I honestly, if they if they work on the art a bit, because the art was pretty low budget for what I was expecting Netflix to go with, and if they work on their just general storytelling, I think it could be a great show. No, nope. I actually do. And that's done with Chris's part. Chris, shut the fuck up. It's time for the real shit. This shit is awful. This shit is gar a garbage fire. This shit right here. You know what this you know what's so bad about this shit? Let's start off one with our characters here. Let's start off with our main character, Coscon, played by fucking Jade Smith, the motherfucking Twitter god, the motherfucker the the motherfucker who ate all the pie brownies and then decided to do all the LSD. I hate this motherfucker so much. All of his dialogue, everything about him is so fucking pretentious everything about the show so fucking pretentious and they expect me to follow him to care about anything that he fucking says how dare i wear a midnight blue tuxedo Shut the fuck up Costco. i swear Yo, i want to punch him in the fucking face I, every okay, single time chill though i no. loved that episode no because they literally sat there it was it was an entire episode about focusing on what's important like understanding that there are certain things that you should and should not do things that you should and should not focus on in life so he's sitting there wearing a midnight blue uh, tuxedo and he could it's a it's someone he's wearing this tuxedo because he's going to a black and white ball he finds out it's not a black tuxedo it's midnight blue and people are like well your tuxedo looks nice but it ain't black so he's sitting there like i have this tuxedo i gotta switch out everyone's commenting on it then he finally switches his tuxedo goes to the ball everyone's like yo you should have stuck with that midnight blue tuxedo. That was dope. And then Arcangelo, his rival, comes in. He had just been joking him on that tuxedo and comes in with a midnight blue tuxedo. And he's the talk of the whole thing. He's like, yeah, I'm a trendsetter. Why wear black when you could be midnight blue? And I'm like, yo, nigga. Like, I thought, I think that it's a good social commentary. Like, on what? On what, nigga? <laughs> Who's gonna relate to bl- Midnight Blue Suit? Nobody. This You're thing not... tries. This thing is trying to be to trying to be that 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 the deliver these social messages, but it does it so high brow and far above everybody's head on its little fucking perch, thinking that everything it says is so genius, everything it does is so clever, every reference that it fucking makes is so with it. Is that it's fucking hipster. That's my problem with this shit. His butler's a G1 Transformer, and nobody said, like, nobody does. 
it's for no reason. For but absolutely that's, no reason. It's that's designed the thing. It's just it's, there to be there. On the on the point of the butler, his butler is a transformer. That is a fact. He's a transformer. But that's normal for that society. That's the thing. It's a surreal situation that you kind of just have to. It's one of those things where you could look at it and you can be like, "Well, that doesn't make sense. This is fucking weird. Why is he fighting demons?" But you just have to like, it's but an anime. Go no, but it. see, I, but because I've seen it done better. I've seen it done better because this, this reminds me of, and you know, no, I'll say that for a second because I've seen this done better with show like, like I literally the first five minutes thought this is a lot like Kekai Simpson. This is a lot like for those who don't know Blood Blockade Battlefront, which is a manga series and an anime series created by Yoshihiro Naito through Dark Horse Comics and the, the maker of Trigun and shit like that, right? Okay. And it's about this uh, city called Jerusalem's Lot or Helsalem's Lot that kind of had a rift open into it. Like it was Salem's Lot, but then it opened up in a rift like and created this like little pocket dimension in New York where like people are living beside demons and aliens and you know shit like that and there are these vampires that try to get back into the world oh they're doing the most type shit. Like, and there's this whole organization <laughs> trying to save the world called libra that shit is cool the shit that they do there the cool the little small one-off episodes there are cool and they do actually do something here is just like it's just like it wants to be a part of the game but it also wants to be that preppy schoolboy, and I don't like preppy schoolboy. I but, do not. But it here's the me thing. such the wrong way, Chris. And that's like, this is why I can't... I'm having trouble conveying it because you didn't watch all of it, and it, it literally, <laughs> and it discusses your concerns. Like, it literally discusses those concerns. Like, if you don't care about spoilers, I will go into it. Then go, go really quick, like okay. really briefly. Go. So really briefly, this is the thing. You don't like that it's super preppy and that everything that they say is so shallow and conceited and they're like on the I top don't. of their perch and this, that, yeah. and the other. That's the thing. The start of the show, in fact, the start of the show is literally this. Um, the start of the first episode is him sitting on a bench with his robot butler, I'm pretty sure pouring tea, and he's watching yeah. these two girls play tennis. And he says he's the dialogue. He's and the di like he the whole thing is him talking to himself like oh I, in I'm not even gonna lie in typical Jaden Smith form like this is the meme itself it's like he's self aware at this point but they're t he's talking to himself about how he just like his girlfriend just broke up with him she went somewhere else and he just wants to die he literally in that episode tells his butler who flies obviously transformer um to take him to the grave and I was like what grave what grave is he going like his mom some shit no it's his grave he has a grave made that he goes to when he wishes to die that is that is such a ridiculous and so I'm with you on that front but the thing is he explains like in that episode and then further on he goes to his friends who are played by Jesus and Mero and they're like, no, it's fine. You'll be fine. Let's just go to the store. Let's go buy some clothes. You love that shit. That always makes you feel better, this, that, and the other. And in that whole thing, he starts to realize, like, yeah, I love this city. This is great. I'm at the top of society. I'm this, that, and the other. Now, even his friends know he's always a little morose. So they don't even, like, he just, he says a couple one-liners. And they're like, nah, man, it'll be all cool. We got this party that we got to go to. There's this gala someday. Like, the, like all of that shit. But as the show goes on, uh, there is another girl whose name is Helen, who is played by... Bye. Tabby Gevinson. Tabby Gevinson, whose name I had never heard, but honestly, except for specifically her voice. I liked her, her acting. I didn't like her voice. Her voice but that's is awful. Key. She was, she's some kind of blogger or something like that. Like she's yeah, not, so not she's an actress. In, no, in society, she is a fashion no, blogger. No, that's, no, I mean the actress herself is, is a, a blogger. It, really? A blogger, oh, blogger, so oh like well, that. that's pretty cool. I was wondering. So uh, I didn't like her voice, but that could just, I mean, that's me personally. Some people probably will like her voice because I've heard voices like that in other shows and they have decent followings. But what I'm saying is this. She starts out typical socialite in this society. She's pretty high up in money. Uh, she is a very prominent fashion blogger. She has followers called Hellenites who, who live off of her every word. They will buy any clothes she says she likes. They'll discard any clothes she says she doesn't. It's actually a pretty big plot point uh, at one point. But she gets possessed. Kaz, being a demon hunter, goes to exercise her. And when he does, she gets saved. But she realizes that there's more. there are more important things than this. Being possessed by that demon, realizing that she might have died, made her realize this is a problem. 
like the fact that her entire life she's just been devoted to fashion and all these conceited like like narcissistic things and mm -hmm. she spends the rest of the show trying to show kaz the veil that's been put over the entire town of neo yokio or i guess state country i'm not I, they don't really yeah it's got like an emperor mayor or lord mayor is what they called him it's a weird hierarchy they fight demons, man. Like, you know, that's they fight demons. i don't even yeah i'm not even worried but so she spends the rest of the show doing this and the entire rest of the season this six episode season is kaz realizing like maybe this place isn't great like maybe this place sucks because they're doing all of this stuff behind the scenes and really everyone doesn't like again spoiler but there's a terrorist attack on the city and uh the terrorist attack comes days before a high profile race for socialites and this race is going through the city through the like lower end parts of the city the mm. places that have the poor people the slums and all that yeah and no one even bats an eye. Like they've got a bit of security up because there was a terrorist attack, but they're still gonna do it because that's money, that's that's advertising, that's capitalism. And Kaz is seeing like, this, is, this isn't right. And so it's him coming into his own. And so the end of the, the, end of the show is, uh, the last scene mirrors the first scene because he's doing basically the same thing, but his dialogue in it is more profound. It's not, I feel so bad because I've lost this love and this, that, and the other. It's, I feel bad because I've, worked into this 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 hierarchy of society and i've only made it more prominent and i need to find a way to take it down like that's that's what it becomes it works okay fine it works out i like it fine i like it. i'll give you that because i can't argue that because i quit you did quit show. you so quit half i can't argue that i can't argue that with you with that bullshit but you know what would have helped you know what would have helped me get into the shit? Maybe stick with it a little more if these voice actors weren't such trash. These trash ass Jane Smith. Jane Smith is somebody who I have always got contention for saying he can't act fuck him and everything he stands for. And now they made him a voice actor? He can't so voice act his way out of a paper goddamn bag. Well, here we go. I can't say anything personally to Jaden Smith being able to uh, to act, like act, act, like on the screen, him himself, because the only thing I've seen with Jaden Smith in it was the Karate Kid. Mm -hmm. He was very young, was and very I thought young. he did pretty well in he that did. role. He everything did. else, I have not seen anything else of his. Now, oh, except for the Get Down, but I feel like he did well in the Get Down. Me personally, I, I thought I liked his down, character. So I can't say anything about that. It's it's basically they they hired Jaden Smith to play Jaden Smith, but okay. set me with this. So. <laughs> So I can't say anything to his acting ability, but I will agree, his voice acting is not great in this show. And it's not. Save for a few very well-timed, very well-written lines. And I can't really attribute that to his voice acting as much as the timing of the comedy and the and the line itself. I never found the dialogue of the show to be anything for me to, to latch on to. And I guess I've already gone into that, but it's just that mixed with the voice acting, it never really got me. Tevin, Tabby Gevinson, girl, you sound like a man. Um, look, I'm just Woo! gonna go <laughs> right there. I'm coming at people's throats. Desus and Mero, y'all niggas, man. Why they put niggas in this? Like, <laughs> why but they put I, niggas in I this? I feel like, so honestly, I, I'm mind. with you. Jaden, Jaden Smith's character, Kaz, you're supposed to hate him, but mm -hmm. also I kind of hated him for most of the show. Mm -hmm. he, he redeemed himself a bit towards the end, but there is one episode, I think it's five mm -hmm. no it is four four in particular is a shitty episode for him and i fucking hate it mm -hmm. i hate it in the whole episode but you again they wrote it that way you're supposed to but Jesus and Mero's characters never once did i dislike them i never once i don't hate him i'm being a bitch but because <laughs> i don't i don't because i they were good that, their what, lines like, were on point the the and Mero, like they're like, there just to be there but that's what i'm saying man it just seems like this is a scrapbook of shit put together to me. And I guess I couldn't see it as anything but that. So when Desus and Mero were on screen, they were Desus and Mero, you know what I mean? And it just seemed like it was not a part of the show. It was just some kind of little, it was like a fucking tangent. And it just so, felt like that. What I will say is a lot of their plot points are kind of like that. Like it's just a tangent. Whenever he goes to see them for anything, mm -hmm. it might be working its way into the main plot, but it's kind of like they're on their own thing. In fact, the Caprizi uh, Martini that yeah. they made in, for those that haven't watched it yet and don't care about spoilers, they end up 
making a martini. That's what they want to do. They they feel like, hey, it's time to start a business. We made this martini. It's dope. We're going to put some advertising on it, and then we're going to start a bar. So they end up starting a bar for that martini. Mm -hmm. The bar is super small because they could not afford a bigger bar, which <laughs> makes me wonder what level of society they're in because they're not on the uh, eligible bachelor board, mm -hmm. but also they're best friends with the number two guy on the eligible. So I don't really know where they fit in, but I liked the juxtaposition of them being like super rich but also being hood. Like they, they're niggas. Like they're they niggas. just talk. Like they niggas. But, Who put these but niggas in but my anime? Rich. But it's, but it's, they're rich. Like it's literally, no, Mero has a. Yeah, they, they eloquent ass niggas. Like they, they Exactly. Mero has, <laughs> Mero has a point where he's like, so he's like, I got to go to this ball and do this thing and blah, blah, blah. And Mero's like, yo, dead ass B, you look good as shit, but we can always hit the place and get like a polo or something. I got a whole outfit lined up for you. Like it's, it's just such a weird I'm not gonna thing. lie. I feel like Dezza and Mero are the best voice actors in this show next to like Susan Sarandon and Jude Law. It's Jude just... Law. Is <laughs> and they put poor Jude Law in this. I know he's not the greatest, but damn Jude Law. Damn Susan Sarandon. Like, it's just, it's just there are certain people that just sound horrible. Like Jane Smith, Tevin Gavison, and whoever did that country chicks. Voice. Yo, I ooh, okay, so <laughs> I will give involved? you that. Everyone else, everyone else, I either think oh has God. a weird voice but did the best they could, or mm -hmm. has a great voice and got poor lines. Yeah. But that country chick was awful, awful man. Like it was, oh, it was grotesque. Really no funny. offense to the voice actor. I'm sure you might have other good voices, other good roles, other Katie good things, but this was it. not it. It won't it, girl. This was, this you was said not no to Sailor Pe Pellegrino with these names. Jesus Christ. The names. Oh. I also like this. I. I mean, that's that's me though. I like the surrealness of all of this. The names. In fact, uh, the episode after the one that you stopped on. Mm -hmm. Uh, everyone, suspension of disbelief. Magic is obviously a thing in this town. Yeah. Kaz's family in the. They're called the Magistocracy, which is basically their high up and rich but they're magic so they don't have to follow the aristocracy which is the regular rich people stuff they have their own thing so his family in the family of mag of magistocrats is what they're called um is very high level demon slayers magical powers all this shit he has an uncle uh in the episode after that who dies or as far as I can tell, he dies. And they're like they're like the country hick version of top level society. They have a mansion, but it's run down because they never take care of it. They use water magic, but only water magic. It's all they know. So they're like the lower tier class, but they're still upper class society. So his uncle dies, he goes to the guy's house, and Jesus and Mero's characters take a dip in the pool because the pool, why not? Turns out the pool had water magic on it. Jesus, uh, not Jesus. Jesus' character gets turned into a giant panda, which is cool. But uh, Mero's character gets turned into a woman. And I'm just like, and I can't explain to you. He has, he has maybe a three minute monologue as a woman about the way that Kaz has been treating him. And it's one of the best written things I've ever seen. It's SJW to a core. But the fact that Mero was saying it, and I'm just like, yo, these are good points. It's just... If you got to look at everyone except Kaz, because that's the episode where you're supposed to hate Kaz. Kaz is a dick the why, whole time. Why are you trying? I'm not watching this show, Chris. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying watch it. Honestly, to you and to people that are listening to this, I'm not saying watch it. I'm saying I watched it and I enjoyed it. But you have to fight through the first couple episodes of bougie bullshit because it gets it gets good. The, the show, Kaz and the show itself realizes like you're supposed to hate it. So that you can then love that he realizes what the problems are in this society. Nope, nope, nope. And the animation, the animation is trash. This is Studio Dean and Production IG. These are the same people, Chris, that gave us, Production IG has given us, the end of Evangelion, Ghost in the Shell, Psychopaths, fucking Bossa Chronicles. All right, all right. Look, Bossa I'm gonna Tokyo stop you. Reservoir. I'm gonna stop the you right blood there. Franchise. I'm gonna stop you right there. I actually agree with you on this. That animation was crap. Like, it's a it's a weird mix of like they're trying to be anime, but we want to stick real close to Boondocks, but we also don't want to be the Boondocks, so we're gonna change. It didn't work out. That animation, or the 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 animation. I feel like if they work on the animation, more people will probably. But it looked like trash. The fact it that did. I don't understand how this. <laughs> But that's my point. I don't understand how this could be trash. They get like the janitors 
from the studios <laughs> to come in and do the anime. They were like, like they they walked into the board <laughs> they they walked into the boardroom like, hey, we want you to come on with this. And then all those studios were like, no, it's about to be trash. So they were like, well, we we really just need your name. Can you send over anyone? And then like the town idiot walked in and they're like, come on, come on over. You know what? I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we, we got work for you. Hey, you want the chairs, kid? Come on over. Like, <laughs> no, man. How it is was this just, it, was, it was not good. And it's not even like the art style was bad. I could see what they were going for. It's that the art was bad. The like it just, was it wasn't, it wasn't visually appealing. No, it the wasn't. style that they were going for, the houses, the like neonness of some of the downtown areas that they show, it was cool, it but the art like, itself. It felt like frames were dropping when I was watching it, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. and this was me having downloaded the episode, because Netflix, you can do that now, you download the episode, you don't have to stream it. That way you get stable rates. And yeah. And it just it felt slow sometimes you know and that that is a problem to me because like i said the art style isn't bad it's just the execution of it is bad oh did i forget to mention richard iode is in this Who have you ever he... seen the it crowd yeah Moss. Is... no 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 not in not in the so, it crowd but i'm um, just for Playing people this. that don't know he plays the dude that uh the the Taylor guy, the guy that says hello, young Ichiban. Yo, <laughs> that's him. That makes that okay. So I feel like with a lot of the voice actors in this show, Netflix is like we're gonna do a ton of like inside jokes, things mm -hmm. that they would have to know you to know because that specific character, that Taylor that he has, has multiple lines and situations where he's like, I love sports so much, and <laughs> Richard Iode would never, never. <laughs> Say that. So I was like, why are they focusing on the fact that this Taylor loves sports? That's why. Yep. <laughs> and then there's another moment in there in the anime, which or in the show, which made me just hate the fuck out of Cassie. I think it was the uh, when he's at the graveyard and he this old man is visiting his wife's grave and he's yep. spraying the perfume on the grave. And Kaz is like, what the fuck are you doing, that old man? He doesn't say, what the fuck are you doing, but why are you doing this? But he basically said. <laughs> he's like, oh, well, she loved this perfume. He's like, yeah, but it's pretty stupid perfume perfume to use. It's like, well, she, she liked the perfume. Yeah, but she should really get with the times with her dead self. Like, Yeah, no, but that's, that's the thing. That's the surrealness of it. Because that's not weird for someone to say in this town. That's the thing. Everyone is so focused on fashion and properness and upper class and being the elite that they don't even realize that's a shitty thing to say to a guy who lost his wife who just loved this perfume. I really feel like I'm that's... on the wrong side of this and that makes me so mad. So you aren't. I could, again, I'm not telling anyone to watch this because I can I've watched it. I can fully understand why you would hate this anime. I... <laughs> but I, I personally think that it was okay not great it's not it's not a it's not a top seller this it's is no not. chart topper it's not. but i think it's i think it's okay if you have the time it's six episodes 30 minutes each it's not horrible it's not great <laughs> it's not horrible <laughs> <laughs> but it is though <laughs> like, oh. I, just, I, just, okay. I will yeah. say though the animation the animation was crap i think that the music crap. and the I plot the music I, you hated the music? I think I that the music the was okay. Music. It was a little, it was, if I may say, overused. It fit the show, it really did. That's it the thing. Just, it kind of was a little overused. It's, it's over, I feel like they could have done a better job, especially with the characters that they wrote, if they had turned the classical music with a bit of a hip-hop yes. sort of yes. nuance, hip-hop beat, <laughs> that would have made sense. <laughs> I hate to say, make it say like, like we're making a drink, but if they cut it with a little bit of hip-hop, they cut it with a little bit of hip-hop, that shit would have been nice. You know, and I mean, and I guess that's, you know, Maybe that's the blackness speaking. It's like you know when you see Daisy and Mary on the screen, you know what I mean. You gotta hit a little hit. Ha. But <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm honestly surprised they didn't At like all. if they had put in even a tiny bit, put some drum and bass on the same classical mm -hmm. clip that you had. Put a bit of drum and bass. That would have made it so much better because I can promise you that opening like uh, uh, sequence for yeah. each episode would have been so much more bearable. I watched the whole thing and every every episode, I was like, should I skip this? It's kind of short, but I really don't want to hear it. I know, like, I, I'll watch the show. I hate that opening. I hate the opening. I hate the ending. Like, I, I'll just... Oh, man. The ending was bad, too, yeah. But that's it. That's 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 Town Waster's take on Neo Yokio. Yep. I hate... 
hate everything. It's he hates. He hates specifically. He hates that he's considering going back to finish. I'm not. I'm not going back to finish. <laughs> I'm not because. I'm, and I'm glad I, I. You know, I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we had this discussion about the show. Because I don't have to. But, but yeah. yeah that's so the that's yeah, that's the show. Thought, that those are our stuff. thoughts on it. <laughs> Fuck. We're out. Peace. Love. Capitalism. So.